Okay, so we're working on the slope field still and using them to help us solve problems. So here's an actual application. Um, take a moment to read it because it makes some sense. It takes a bit of time to understand what's going on. So the antibiotic drug is administered with initial dose of 0 0.05 milligrams per centimeter cubed. So that's a volume. So I had so much volume, there's so many milligrams. At this rate of 100 centimeters cubed per hour, so a certain volume per hour. The drug is absorbed by the body tissue or otherwise leaves the bloodstream at a rate proportional to the amount present with the rate of proportionality of 0 0.2 or 2.5. Assuming the drug is always uniformly distributed through the bloodstream, write the differential equation for the amount of drug that is present in the bloodstream at any time. Well, if we are going to make this differential equation, we have to recognize that the drug, the drug goes in and the drug goes out. And so the amount of drug that comes in, then I have to subtract the amount of drug that comes out. But those, both of these are rates. Things are going on. And that, what, when we put these two together, that's going to be the rate of the drug remaining at a given time. That's how the drug is changing, at the rate going in minus the rate going out. Well, the rate going in is simply coming from here. This is how much drug is going in. And if I go 0 0.05 milligrams per centimeters cubed, and I multiply it by 100, oh, 100 centimeters cubed over hours, those centimeters cubes, and I can say that I'm getting uh, 5 milligrams per hour. So this is how much drug is actually going in as a rate of time. And so DDDT, DDDT going in is 5. Going out, though, is going to be subtract. The drug absorber leaves the breath at a rate proportional to the amount present. So whatever, how much ever D is left, proportional to it, it's going to go, it's going to leave with the constant proportionality being 2.5. And so this here, 5 minus 2.5d, is my differential equation that discusses how much of the drug is in the bloodstream. This is how much is going in, and this is the rate going out. And so this is the total rate altogether. All right, so here's a part. So now, if the initial amount of the drug was zero before it was newly administered, estimate the amount of drug after 30 minutes. Well, that means I have to solve this equation here with my initial value of zero, uh, zero, zero is my initial value because it starts with zero at time zero. And then I want to find out when uh, t is equal to 0 0.5, d equals what? Well, in order to solve this, this is not separable. So I have to come around. If this was an x, or a t rather, then I could just integrate it plain and simple, but because it's a variable d, I would try to separate these and make it a separable uh, differential equation, but it's not. And so the only tool at this point that we have left is to make a slope field. So I make the table, and I'm going to switch it around from before. I'm going to call this one x and this one y because my brain likes this way better. And so then I'm going to do 0, 0. If I plug 0, 0 into here, I'm going to get 5. And conveniently, oh, it's not x and y, but rather this is going to be d and t. And so since there is no t, these values don't actually affect it at all. So when d is 0, when d is 0, d d d t is 5. So this are going to be 5, 5, 5, and 5. When I put 0 0.5 into here, 5, 5 minus 2.5 times 0.5 gives me 3.75. So 3.75 all the way down. 1 goes in there and I get 2.5. This will be 1.25. And then this will be 0 all the way down when I plug it in. So at this point, I have my table. And I want to find the solution curve 
with the initial value being 0, 0, so that I can estimate the solution to the problem. And so I'm going to make my slope fields when my x is 0 and y is 0 here, I get a slope of 5, super steep. All these y values are 0, so it's going to be 0 0.5, 0 0.5, 0 0.5, or 5, not 0.5, and 5. When the d, when the y is 3 point, is 0 0.5, all of them are always 3.75, so it's a little less steep, a little less steep here, something like this. And then I get 2.5, which is a little less steep, and so on and so forth. 1.5 is almost at 1, a little less steep, and then 2 is these are all zero and so there is my slope field and if I do it with technology this is the nice graph that we get so let's go back to what we're actually trying to do we're actually if the initial amount of the if my initial point was zero zero so here's my point zero zero I want to estimate the amount of drug after point zero point five hours so from zero zero I'm going to estimate what the solution curve will look like by using the slope field so I know it's going around here it's going up up, I'm going to follow the bend of the curve, and then I know it's going to go this way, something like that. I'm going to look like a slope is zero. And so I really want 0 0.5 here is my point. So 0 0.5 comma about 1.3. So in f half an hour, there's going to be 1.3 milligrams of the drug in the bloodstream at that point. And finally, in the long term, how much drug is present? Well, as you can see, all these slopes are zero. It's just going to get good 10 towards this. So the long term, the drug is going to, there's going to be two milligrams of the drug. It'll hit an equilibrium point of going in and coming out by the body. And that can be seen by this constant slope of zero here. If I looked at the actual slope field curve that's done by technology you can quite clearly see here that go through zero zero and it goes down to an asymptote of two even if I would move a around what's kind of interesting is no matter what happens I always the body always the in and the out always makes it go down to about two milligrams per hour